This isn't our lore video, isn't it? Hey guys, there's self out here. Oh boy. Let me set my coffee down, cause I ain't even goddamn morning yet, and I'm starting my coffee. Job already starts now. Okay, it is October 29th, 08:28. My time. Might be different for some of you who live in the Eastern Hemisphere, Western Hemisphere, Northern Hemisphere, what have you. Okay, so, what am I talking about today? Well, people have been bugging the hell out of me on my Facebook, on my Twitter. Guys, I hear you, okay? Let me go ahead and answer your question. What is Scout? Not Scout as in Boy Scouts, not Scout as in Scout Scout. I mean, what is the Scout Regiment? Well, Scout is actually an acronym. And what an acronym it basically means uh, MOAB, which, mean, which stands for Mother of All Bombs, or FOAB, which stands for Father of All Bombs. You get what I'm saying? So, what does Scout stand for? S-C-O-U-T. Scout stands for Strategic Coalition of Unified Tactics. Which basically means that Scout is actually, well, unified tactics. Basically a unification of a lot of tactics. What tactics, you may ask? Well, let me go ahead and answer that a little bit further. You see, when the Scouts were being formed, we already had the Shinobi Corps. The Shinobi Corps were created because the Naruto creator knew that they needed a Special Forces unit, as well as the Ombu Black Ops. Now, that was already formed when the Otaku Nation was already formed because that was their first line of military because they thought, okay, you know what, maybe we can handle threats before they even happen. Kind of like the CIA or the coalition or, well, you get what I'm saying, guys. You get what I'm saying. Okay. Now, what about scouts? What about the Rose Regiment? What about the military police? What about the trainee corps? Scout is basically a frontline unit. They are the Marines. They are the Army Rangers. They are fucking hell. They are the badasses of badasses that are formed together to make one badass regiment and that's what they are okay that is what they are that is who they are that's how badass they are kind of like the Texas Rangers ah, my goodness now how scouts is that how we got the symbol from AOT that one that's a bit simple you see when scout was formed and the uniforms were being formed and everything like that the creator of AOT basically saw what was going on and basically said, hold up, uh, this kind of looks like something from my manga. And they actually look at him and go like, really? And they're like, really? Should we use your symbol? And he goes like, yeah, why not? And thus they went with the symbol. And they basically adopt, and after that, they adopted the Rose Regiment, they adopted the Stationary Corps, the military police, and what have you. So that's kind of how AOT got into the unit. That's how AOT got formed into it, but it's not AOT. It's basically, well, you get what I'm saying. Now, what do the Wings of Freedom mean to the Otaku Nation? When you see these coming at you, you see the flags, you see the cloaks, you see these, you know you're about to get a full handful of freedom. And yes, freedom. The Scout Regiment is what the Otaku Nation sends in to kick all sorts of ass. To defeat all tyranny and dictators. Now, I can already hear my comments blowing up and screaming uh, blasphemy or something like that. I, I don't know, really. I I'll probably look at the comments afterwards. But you know what? I still like it. Now, the way they work is simple. Now, I already got a question about propaganda. Now, propaganda for the Scout Regiment is basically, uh, join the officers' corps and be among the ranks of Captain Levi. Or join the trainee corps. 
uh, Armin suggests it or some shit like that. Or, and this one is true. I, ha I actually saw this from a friend. He made some fan art, and I just laughed so hard from this. But um, <clears throat> imagine Mikasa with a M16 in one arm and a sword in the other, wearing a bat wearing Kevlar vest and full combat gear, saying, "Ladies, the scouts need you. Every single one of you is a slap across the enemy's face." I laughed so hard because I knew that was from Fallout New Vegas because of um, women of the NCR join up. Every single one of you is a slap across Caesar's hide and what have you. You get what I'm saying? But the fact that Mika's uh, in combat armor and still looks fucking badass, that made me have a grin on my face from ear to ear until my face turned an unhealthy white and I passed out. It is not easy to make me smile that much and make me pass out from smiling, okay? It's not that easy. Now, let me think here. Is there anything else to add to it? Um, mm, mm, the Titans themselves. What a lot of people don't know is that the propaganda for the otaku nation is basically anime. No lying. That's basically what it is. And the Titans that are used, the enemy forces in anime... They are used to symbolize the enemy that they, that the nation is fighting. The Titans, they're basically used as the Jesus freaks. When you see the Titan, let me go ahead and get the DVD case. This right here, this right here, now, put the scout regiment thing, well, put, okay, this is used to recruit trainees, but now, instead of this, it's actually, uh, just, just, I'm just gonna keep this image here so I can tell you, there's actually, this is what it says, it says, the enemy is at our walls, and the trainee corps are there to meet them alongside our brothers and sisters of the scouts. And then it has a join up thing and what have you, you, you get what I'm saying? Did I put that? Yeah, I put that in the wrong way. Goddamn. So, what about other anime? Um, I've already confirmed that Black Lagoon is a suicide squad of some sorts. It's where they send all the... It's basically a bad company, okay? If any of you have ever played Battlefield Bad Company, then you get what I'm saying. It's a bad company. It's a Bravo company. You get what I'm saying. It's, uh, it's that, but... <sighs> now, is that to say that they... That... And propaganda stops there? Hell no! Hell, they got propaganda. I saw propaganda from my friend who was drawing up all the fan art and what have you. He's going to upload. He, I've been telling him, upload it, upload it. He goes like, no, I won't. And I'm like, well, fucking hell. I need to see this shit. Legitimately, though, they actually have stuff where it's basically, uh, there's the, there's the guys, there's Captain Levi with a pistol in one hand pointing his arm this way. And he, and in there is, onward to victory. And then down below is, uh, in these little letters is, you want to help Levi fight the good fight on the front? Every war bond you buy is a bullet in his gun. Supply the, supply Levi with bullets and buy war bonds. I laughed so hard at that one that I fell over holding my sides. And my friend actually had to stop me laughing, saying, Breathe, man, breathe! And I was like, I get it! So cheesy! <laughs> oh my goodness, though, but... I, I laughed pretty hard. <sighs> oh my goodness. And the propaganda doesn't stop there. It's not just propaganda, it's basically... Um... Anything with the Scout logo on it, that money goes to the Scout Regiment. Just like anything with... This logo on it. That, that just happened. Anything with this logo on it, that goes to that regiment. Legitimately. Get my shotgun back up. Legitimately, every single thing about the Otaku Nation is this. They use their own money. In a basic sense, they are their own separate militaries, but they gladly follow as unified forces under the great guidance of Miyazaki and Shiro Masamune. But still, Miyazaki! 
outside that though. Now, if I have any more information, it's basically, what about the armaments of the Scout Regiment? Well, the armaments are still there. Of course, you may have seen the post for the new base weapon, which I'm going to explain all this in another video, so I might as well stop right here. So what about the Scout Regiment have I not said about it? They still have the highest mortality rate. No lying. You get sent out on the front lines first, your ass is going to die. So that statistic hasn't changed at all. <sighs> well, thank you guys for watching. I've been Airsoft Al, and I'm going to be going to get ready to do a battle soon, and you guys begin the combat footage from it. Until next time.